Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our partner 43. Inside this video session guys, we are going to continue all about our theme customizer video. In the last video, we had created a customizer section. If we click on this customize icon, go inside this left hand panel and here is the section we have created called copyright section. So this it's a section inside this we have a field or setting and inside that setting we have a control come something called copyright. So inside this input type text simply we are going to enter our copyright text and also we want that this updated value or copyright message should update our footer copyright. Right now it's a static value. So what I will do, I am to copy this text, go here, pasting it here and as we can see that anything typing inside this section or control, it is reloading this preview screen. So right now this is the text what we have modified as 2020 but right now it is 2019. Now what I will do, as we want that when we update any value, it will update this preview screen. So inside this footer, we need to use a function, WordPress provided function, which is going to load this updated copyright content here inside this footer. Now if I back here inside this editor, go inside this footer.php and as we can see here that is, this is the static content what we have provided right now. So what I will do, I am to cut this text and instead of this text, I am going to use a special WordPress function something called get underscore theme underscore mod. Inside this, we need to pass the key name and inside this key name, we need to pass our settings ID. Now back to functions.php, as we know that this is set underscore copyright what we have created as a setting ID. Now go to footer.php, let's say that set underscore copyright. So this is all about to get the dynamic value of this setting. Now in the second parameter, we can pass the default value. Let's say that at the initial stage, inside this setting, we don't have any value. So we want to print any static message in place of that. So let's say that here simply set your copyright content. Now if we save this change, back here, reload this page. Now if we scroll to the footer of this page, now as you can see that there is no content inside this. And it's because that right now inside this copyright setting, inside this control, we don't have any content. So let's say that copyright, once I type any value inside this control, as we can see that it is rendering here. So copyright at the rate, let's say that online, web tutor and let's say 2020. So when we change any text inside this copyright control, it is going to update this. Now after preview our screen, as we are thinking that it's now ok, this is the text, it is perfectly ok. Now we need to click on publish because we are going to publish this text to our site. Now back to our section, now the changes has been saved to our database. This is only for the storage of storing of temporary value like what we have typed and what is rendering inside this screen. But after clicking on this publish button, this content is now updated into our database table. And finally, it is going to save into our options table and by the help of WordPress function called get theme mode, it is going to pick the database value of this setting called set copyright and output here. Now what I will do, if we click on visit site and go inside this tab called my store, scroll down and as we can see that this is the value what we have written inside our 
copyright control also if you want to update let's say that hyphen now we can see that this is preview it's okay click on publish it has now updated into the database and if I reload this store page now as we can see that this is the value so successfully a great theme customizer panel we have developed for our copyright content from which we can manage or control all about the copyright text what we have inside this website's footer now if we want to understand that the updated value or the theme customizer settings what we have developed where it will be stored inside our database so firstly let's see that what is the database actually we are using inside this project and uh, we are using WooCommerce theme underscore dev back to browser go here and this is the correctly database what I have opened all the settings means theme modifications what we are saving inside WordPress it will go inside WP options table now instead of searching WP options let's say that right now we don't have idea about that where actually we have stored all the values simply go inside this DB click here inside the search and simply type theme underscore mod because as we know from this editor that actually we are using theme mod here and also go inside this functions.php we are writing theme mod so we are getting all about the idea of search keyword from these texts simply go and type theme mod type or click on all words I am clicking on all words selecting all the tables what right now inside our database select all and if I press go button so as we can see that we have two tables selected with this text called WP options and WP underscore post now if we click on WP options scroll down and here we can see that this is all the theme modifications of 2020 theme this is simple basic theme and this is 2019 theme now inside this options table we also have theme modifications simple bootstrap theme and currently we are working with simple bootstrap theme now inside this we are getting a serialized data so if I go up, copy back to slide open a new tab pasting it here now ins inside this serialized data as we can see that we have set underscore copyright this is the setting name keep in mind we have taken as inside functions.php and inside this this is the value what we have updated so when we save any value from this customizer panel inside this control it is going to update this set copyright and by the help of our wordpress function called get underscore theme mode actually we are calling this set copyright from this theme customizer or this key what we have right now if we copy this theme go here so after calling that function simply it is finding all about the firstly key that is theme modification activated theme and it will go and search for our settings id if suppose we have setting id then it is going to find this text and place inside wordpress so this is guys how actually our theme customizer works with the database as well so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i'll give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day